So guys, to get those pops and crackles, there's nothing to it. One, I think having a hardtop convertible actually matters in this sense. The window back here, when you pull it down, you don't hear the drone of the engine. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. Start the car up. This is normally what you would hear in the normal Corvette. Just the noise that you're listening to now, which isn't very loud because the top's up. But if you take your top down, it's a different sound in the hardtop convertible. So I'm just gonna roll this window back here down so you can hear the difference. When I rev this, you hear more noise from the muffler with the hardtop convertible because the engine noise isn't as loud. It's all covered up in the hardtop. Exhaust and muffler is what you hear more than the engine, the actual noise of the engine. So because we're in the hardtop convertible, you can't hear much of the engine because it's all covered. You're gonna hear it over the engine noise. So what you're gonna wanna do is hit Z mode, put it in drive and manual mode. And we're just gonna take off. downshift and you hear those pops upshift a little pop so we hit this turn and we downshift and you're not going to hear much pops when you downshift from fourth to third gear you will hear some sometimes especially when it's colder out but not when it's normal temps see there wasn't much pop going on downshifting from fourth to third it usually happens when you actually drive slower which is kind of ironic. So coming up to the stop sign up here, going from third to second, and now you hear the pops, right? So this little corner right here, you hear that? That was loud. And my audio is recording from inside the cabin here, okay? I don't have it on the muffler like I normally do. So we're gonna slow down in about 2,500, downshift, gas, let off, and it's popping. Now, I think your, eight, your, I think your standard coupe Corvette is popping, it's just you can't hear it over the engine, even with the top down. Whereas with the HTC, we have all this stuff covering the engine, so it's, taking, it's getting rid of all the noise. So I'm going to turn here, second gear, all that poppage going on, okay? And again, just downshift, third gear, there you go. It just does it like crazy. And this is just the standard sport exhaust, guys. It does it really loud when you're going fast and you drop down from third into second gear. But it'll still do it even when you're going slow. So I'm going to brake quicker and from 3,000 go to 2,000. Hear that? So I take it at higher RPM when I shift and it'll pop. So even going up a hill. We're in third gear. See all those pops from 2500 RPM. And that's up a hill. You can still do it even up a hill, but it, you get way more back pressure when you're going down the hill and you're doing it. Now you'll hear a lot more pops when you have trees on both sides or rocks because it echoes like crazy. So you saw when I shifted those gears, what RPM? Hey guys, what up? Just wanted to convey that the HTC sounds so much better in person than it was on the audio that I picked up on this. It's substantially louder when you're in the car. The audio on this didn't pick up as much of the pops and burbles and the noises as it would have normally. That being said, that's the reason why I raised the volume a little bit. But yes, actually being there, listening to it while you're driving sounds much better. It is loud, it makes those pops, it makes those burbles, it makes all that epic noise that you would want and expect from that exhaust system. The engine being covered by multiple layers the plastic cover, the HTC components, and then on top of that, the actual back hood just 
makes it so much quieter so you can hear that exhaust. Also guys, with that being said, I just wanna say I am super thankful for you guys. Thank you for all your comments and your feedback and your support. I really appreciate it, it helps out a ton. Uh, if there's a video you guys want, throw it in the comments below. I wanna make a video for you guys, car related stuff, whatever. Also, for those of you that are subscribed, I would love for you guys to send me like a picture of your C8, your new C8, or if you've had one for a while, or just your sports car. I would love to post it onto my Instagram, tag it or whatever. Building the community that way would be awesome. I just love it, I love the car stuff. Thank you guys so much. Please like and subscribe. If there's anything you guys have to ask or any questions, please just throw it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one.